What's up everyone? Bobby G back for the next installment. Me playing through this puzzle game named Contraption Maker. And if you've been following me thus far, you'll know that I'm making my way through the easy puzzle section. And let's just keep going. In the last episode we uh, ended things with Wind Powered House. And now we're on to Three Point Shot. So let's give this a try. Drop the basketball into the cardboard box. Well, it certainly sounds simple enough, doesn't it? Let's see. Usually hit play just to see what's going on. And which, uh, which ball's going in there? The basketball. So here's the basketball here. First things first. Um, we need... We need this fan to blow the pinwheel, I'm guessing. And then next things to hook up the conveyor belt to the hamster, which will power the conveyor belt itself. And it looks like there's a series of pipes that I'm gonna need to figure out somehow. Um, Let's see, can't change that one. So how am I gonna get how am I gonna get the pipe? That's a tough one, because somehow something needs to knock into this hamster wheel uh, to kind of kickstart the whole process and uh well, I'm not sure what that's going to be just yet. Um, not sure, but let's just get some. Let's get one thing figured out at a time here. Uh, we need this cannonball, I think, to hit this latch in order to the power the fan that'll hit the pinwheel. So why don't we see if that much will work? <laughs> I'm not sure if. Uh, that was meant to necessarily fall back into the same spot, but nonetheless it worked anyway. And what happens with this... This baseball doesn't seem to do anything. Uh, so I'm not exactly sure... I have a feeling that... This baseball... Um, will this fan blow the baseball? If you can see, there's very faint green outline that may push the baseball as well. So let's see. Indeed. And okay. So it seems pretty clear then that this cannonball down here is what's going to have to power the hamster wheel. And uh, these pipes with the little finger on it, it kind of gives it a boost in that direction so when the cannonball falls in here and hits this part it'll be like a like an acceleration chamber or something like that and it'll give it an extra extra boost that'll theoretically fly the uh, cannonball up to hit this uh, hamster which will then if you guys are following me through all this here once the basketball is down here it will get right into the box at least that's what I think is going to happen, folks, and let's see if that's the case, and indeed, that is the case. That was a nice puzzle. I like that one. Activate the laser-powered toaster and make toast. This is probably the most complicated way to make toast I've ever heard of, but... Hey, look at this little guy down here. What's he, just decorative? Kind of cute. So, alright, this laser, this laser doesn't really have the right color to activate that. Usually you need, um, so you need the red laser to hit this thing here. So I'm guessing we're going to have to bounce the laser a few times and, wrong way, let me try to, uh, around. What we need, I guess, we need to power this generator here so this basketball will get blown out of the way by the fan, I'm guessing. 
So, let's see here. Well, this is probably quite obvious. This will make the cannon shoot and probably kill this, uh, not kill, break this rope, which will make the bucket hit the hamster, which will power the fan. Uh, oh, actually, it'll be the scissors that has to cut the rope when the, when the cannonball hits it. So, um, I think we're pretty set here. Let's see. And there's our toast. That was a pretty good one as well. <laughs> Beginner's brunch. That's me, all right. Set each bomb in a certain order to blast the bowling ball into the cardboard box. Set the bombs in a particular order. All right. Well, let's see. Let's see, let's see. Um, all right. Um, 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 um. Looks like this basketball. Wait, which, which has to get in there? The bowling ball has to get in. All right, well, let's see what we're working with so far. There's number one, or four. Basketball will go down and hit number three. So I'm guessing number three might have to be like about uh, here. Can we do this with only three bombs, even though they give us, I don't know, four or five here? Let's see. Yep. <laughs> that was all it took. Looked like there's a whole other series of events that we could have taken advantage of, but wasn't necessary, so. Good enough for me. The Robo Cats are all out of food. Turn on the mixer to make them a new batch. Status. Hungry. Wow, that's a, not the best status to have. That's a status I fight with daily, to be quite honest. Well, who doesn't? But, okay. Well, all we have is a laser mixer. I'm not even quite sure. What do we have to do? Turn on the mixer. Okay. Well. Um, now there's this whole thing. The president of the Bobby Ginto fan club was nice enough to research a little bit. Or, or maybe he already was aware of additive light. And how it's seemingly a heck of a lot different than mixing crayon colors together, which I was kind of confused about. So let's see if we can figure anything out here. Gonna have to start at the switch, uh, the outlet, I guess. Um, let's see how far that'll get us. Alright, well this mixer obviously, obviously has to get, um, has to get red and I don't know red and what green see when it comes to the additive color I'm like clueless as to what I'm clueless as to what uh, is needed to mix together to get the correct thing. Now, if I was making yellow in art class with crayons or something, I think it's like blue, blue and green. But with light, somehow it's red and, and green. I don't get that at all, but, but I believe it. So what are you gonna do? Now it looks like maybe, maybe this one has to go up here. And I think that's probably it, yep. Yeah. So the mixer got turned on, but we didn't get any satisfaction to see the Robo Cats get fed, but maybe later. Alright, Milton is so close to the cheese, he can almost taste it. Blow up the wall so he can eat. Well, Mr. Milton, we certainly do not want you to be deprived. Every mouse needs to eat his cheese. That is a fact. 
And we learned from the last level that this should make yellow. And what color do we need here? White. So I'm guessing if we mix all kinds of crazy colors together, we'll get white, even though that's purple. And somehow that works. <laughs> like I said, this whole additive light mixing thing is... I don't want to say beyond me, but it's beyond me. I don't get it. The egg really wants to get out into the wild, but there's a wall in the way. Get it over the wall and into the bushes. It's reminiscent of Humpty Dumpty, if you ask me. Oh, well, that's certainly not what you want to do. He, uh, got cracked imme pretty much immediately. Well, I'm guessing this balloon has to get released on a timer. Jack in the Box probably has to... Has to what? I don't even know. I don't even know. Perhaps run a bit of, uh... Defense for the egg before he smacks off the gear. Let's see. There we go. Oh! <laughs> well, I wasn't even sure that that was going to be the outcome, but it certainly was the outcome. We set that egg free. Phil is trying to get to sleep, but the candle's too bright. Pull out the candle so he can sleep. I understand that. Sometimes I sleep with a bunch of pillows on my head to block out any light that's in the room. So let's see. Wait, what are we doing? We're blowing out the candle. Well, obviously the fan is probably going to have something to do with that. And, um, hmm, well, this rope's probably going to have something to do with that. Uh, let's see what happens here. Bowling ball will do something. Huh. Well, what does that do? And I only have one more band. Oh, I see. That's what I'll do. Wow, that's pretty much solved right off the gate, I believe. Bowling ball comes down, hits this thing. Very good. Is that the guy who wants to go to sleep? The fish? I guess. Tinker got himself tangled up again. Cut his leash so he could get to the bone. Alright. Well, we certainly don't want any animals uh, getting tied up where they shouldn't belong. So, obviously, we're going to need uh, some rope on the little twig that's going to release the cannonball that will eventually break the scissors. Looks like this blimp's going to hit this cannonball, which will make it come down this way. And I bet this belt is only the missing last missing piece and I think that's about it already ladies and gentlemen for this one. We're starting to solve these puzzles first try. And our buddy got his bone. Whew. Short and sweet. It's the grand opening of Waldo's new coffee shop. Flip the switch to turn on the open sign. Okay. Well, let's see. Obviously, this is going to have to get flipped by this falling on it. Going to need some light to help the magnifying glass. And what's the last thing we need? We're obviously going to need... Uh, I guess this. It's kind of strange. What is this box going to come up here and blow up. <laughs> I'm even... I, I didn't even see what happened there. What? How did this get triggered? Oh, it got triggered by the weight pulling it down. Okay. Well, that one was easy. Yeah. For some reason, the cat gets hit with the ball. But he seems so uh, 
not phased. So, very good. Dr. Tim's clone army has turned against him. Activate the security system and blow up the bridge. Yeah, that's quite the situation you got yourself in. Well, first things first, it looks like this little vial of explosives will likely be what blows up the bridge. And it looks as if this cannon is probably going to be the thing to kind of fall down there and hit the teeter-totter. Gonna need something to hit the hamster. Gonna need something to hit the hamster wheel. Um, huh. But, but how's the light gonna get turned on, right? Well, it's pretty much not, I guess, huh? So how... Uh, oh, maybe these guys will help. <laughs> Seems like it. Let's turn this around and... Oh, little ricochet action! Oh, well. Just like that, folks, it becomes quite clear that this needs to be positioned just a little better. Boing, boing, boing. Eight ball inside pocket. And... Almost had it working. Come on. I'm gonna need you to switch uh, over here, I guess. Let's try it one more time. One more time, we'll give it a shot. And, ooh, there goes the bridge. Professor Tim over here is saved from the clones. Very good. Pop the balloon. Now, with a, uh, with a message so simple, you would think that uh, something something's going to be quite difficult. Pop the balloon. Well, we're obviously going to need uh, the fan. Although there's a little more to it, I think, here. Catomatic is gonna, I guess, make the. What is this thing? Solar panel. Oh, brother. Alright, well. But how is that going to. How is that gonna get turned on? I guess is a good question. There's not even anything that falls to, uh, oh, maybe the cat. Maybe the cat needs to get bounced up. And maybe... Um, I don't know. Somehow need the light to shine. But so far, I don't see how that's going to work. Well, let's see what happens to this cat. Well, nothing, because we have to turn the thing on. Hmm. Well, this is a tough one already, ladies and gentlemen. Let's just quickly... Quickly reset. <clears throat> gather our bearings here. Okay. Alright, let's see. Well, I don't see how this cat, well, yeah, how else is the cat feeder gonna, gonna go anywhere? I'm guessing that needs to be set up, but I still don't see how still don't see how... We don't even get a hamster cage. We don't get a hamster cage to start with. We only get... Uh, 
Maybe the maybe the mouse will fly up. No, where can we get it? No. Can he get over there? <laughs> kind of, but that uh, might not necessarily help. And this seems like too high of a thing for him to get across. So what on earth? What on earth is the solution here? This mouse is the only moving part. It has to do something, right? Not that. Well, that's not really going to help anything, though, is it? It's not really going to help anything. Not really. Um, boy. This is a doozy, ladies and gentlemen. I am... I knew that I was going asking for trouble with this relatively complicated uh, or rather it was such a simple description that I just knew it was going to be a doozy to solve and so far so far it sure is I only have one conveyor belt that has to go there and one light that has to pretty much go there Pretty much has to go there, the cat feeder, and I would think that this has to go there, but I don't see how any of this makes sense. I don't see how any of this makes sense. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Well, that certainly helps. All right, now we're on track. Now we are on track. Ah, okay, very good. Oh, that was a scary one at first, folks. I didn't think uh, we were gonna have much luck, but now we got it. We got it now. Aha, there goes our cat friend. There goes the mouse friend, and boom. Oh, that one was, that one was tough. I just had to think of what was the only moving part, and it was... <laughs> this poor cat is going for a ride. Is he done? I hope he's... Oh, it just keeps going higher and higher. But anyway, the one moving part was the mouse, and that was kind of the clue that I had to go off of, and, well, it worked out. But I'm going to call it there for this episode, ladies and gentlemen. We're certainly still making our way through the easy section of the puzzles, and I thank you all for joining me this far, and I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am. This has been Bobby G. We'll see you next time. And I hope this cat will stop going up and down. Poor guy. <laughs>